Hello, everybody. Welcome to the PWO WrestleCast Prediction Show for WrestleMania. You guys already know this is the two-man power trip. Arms are so big they don't fit on the screen. So, as you guys know, this is the WrestleMania 37 Prediction Show here. Uh, and, man, WrestleMania has some, some big shoes to fill after a very solid week of NXT. And, in general, uh, solid wrestling to begin with. Mm-hmm. Uh, night starts off with hardcore justice with impact so maybe they'll get a little pass into it we'll see how good uh impact sets the bar for saturday <laughs> uh, we they don't they don't set the bar they are the bar god i love the bar i miss the bars i hate covid i've already got us demonetized so <laughs> with that Guys, we're just going to get right into night one of WrestleMania. And it's going to open up with, of of all matches, Bobby Lashley defending the WWE Championship versus Drew McIntyre, which to me says Drew McIntyre is going to be the very first entrant in in an arena with fans. Mm -hmm. God, I, I, I am so excited to see and hear fans. I, I can't imagine uh the blowback that there's going to be attached to this but as a wrestling fan i'm excited mm-hmm. yeah if there was any if there if this is anywhere else on the card i would maybe lean toward bob retaining there's no chance that not only does mcintyre come out first he also is the first winner in front of fans you want a big he gets the to do it he gets the pop that he should have gotten last year in front of fans. Um, Become a three-time WWE champion. Oh, yeah. Holy now, smokes. I'll say this as well, and I think this is something to note. Corey Graves was on his his After the Bell podcast and did discuss how, uh, you know, no one really knows what to expect when fans are back. We don't know if there's going to be someone who is – all of a sudden going to be a very big star. And he is predicting that Bobby Lashley is going to get the biggest reaction of the night. And I I think rightfully so. I think rightfully so. Bobby Lashley has done some of the best work of his career alongside MVP in the Hurt Business here. But Yeah, I think just in general, uh, with his career path, since leaving WWE the first go-round, his best heel work has been with MVP, whether it be here or in Impact. He is constantly doing good stuff. He knows what he's doing. Um, Agreed. You know, I agree. Um, I don't. I don't think there's a real loser in this match. I just think that we're all kind of expecting Drew McIntyre to get his pop. That's all. And this is this is very conflicting for me because McIntyre deserves to be champion in front of a crowd. He does. He did everything right, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this past year and and entering the COVID era. I mean, he he has been as perfect of a champion as you can have. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. So uh, on one hand, I, I really want him to get this moment and get that big win in front of a crowd back. Um, but God, we, we, we finally pulled the trigger on Bobby Lashley and I don't want this to be a transitional thing. Um. I would, I, I would have almost preferred that they wait a month and then do everything here with Bobby Lashley. Uh, God, just please. So I, I don't know. Are you drinking some milk over there, Cod? I am. <laughs> no, no one realizes that it's like in the middle of the night while we're doing this. Yeah, it is literally – Night one of WrestleMania is today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, so we're both in agreement, Drew Mac. Uh, yeah, it's got to be. If it's truly leading off the card, he's going to be the first man out, and he's going to be the first one of the night. I believe they announced that on on SmackDown on Friday. <laughs> um, we we definitely know the main event match at the least. Ugh. We'll get uh, but up next, Bad Bunny and Damian Priest versus Miz and Morrison. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Ho, ho. Bunny's going to pin you. Yeah. One, two, three. 
Bad Bunny and Damian, Damian Priest. Priest. Yeah, there's no I'll say this. Out. Good on Bad Bunny. He's been apparently spending a lot of time in Orlando training with Adam Pierce and Drew Gulak for this matchup. So maybe we're yes. going to see a very uh, a surprise here, which would be cool. I'm all for it. Hopefully it goes yeah. well. Yeah, uh, he temporarily moved there. He's been in the PC for about four months now, um, getting work with 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 your know, set employees. So, um, you know, I, I I want better for Damian Priest, but I think I think we have to look at it as if he's Diamond Dallas Page for a second, because something that WCW would always do with celebrities that didn't really belong in the ring, but they did enough to get by is they would pair him with diamond Dallas page every time. Uh, Carl, Carl Malone, Jay Leno. And I understand that bad bunny has been training, but you know, he's not going to be Kenny Omega. No. I mean, he's not going to be an AJ styles. We'll, we'll be fortunate if he's at least a Pat McAfee. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think it's that's the case. That's best case mm-hmm. scenario, in my opinion. Absolutely, but um, doesn't change the finish. I no. still think Bad Bunny will get the pin. Agreed. Uh, up next, the new day: Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods are defending the Raw Tag Team Titles versus AJ Styles and Almost. This is Almost his official debut. Um, and I gotta tell you, this is a new day victory. You were almost correct. Um, gosh, it's time to get some gold on AJ. All right. Um, almost is going to surprise you. AJ Styles will get the win, though, uh, by hook or by crook. I think it's time. They've been um, – to compare this to another feud um, – the New Day is kind of like the Usos right now. And um, AJ Styles and Omos are kind of like FTR during their feud. There, there's been a lot of uh, comedic segments. There's been a lot of jabbing and ribbing um, of AJ Styles and Omos to the point where um, it was either the last week or the week before they were like, Oh, you don't even know your best friend almost. Oh, what's his what's his favorite color? Oh Who cares? I, don't, I don't fucking care. Okay. What I care about is just get just get in the ring. Okay. And I think there's been enough of those to lead me to believe that um the heels yeah, the heels are gonna get it over here. The uh... Typically, I'd be with you, but for me, this this whole night one screams baby face win after baby face win after baby face win. Like, just going down the card, I genuinely mm-hmm. feel that way. They might lead off a new day. Now, I know, I know you said I that. I think you should. Good. I think you should start because I think a yeah. new day entrance that brings in a lot of hype and positivity, you get that big E. Oh, Tampa! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Even you know what? Even bring out Big Biggie for this. I'd you know, like well, I think a big maybe distraction kind of helps them win. Not necessarily like a like you know it goes over kind of clean. Yeah, guys, but he's there to help out his pals. Yeah, um, I don't think I, I don't think there's a real loser in this match though. I think this um, is. In my opinion, one of two matches of night one where the heel could win, but I still think baby faces do. Mm. So, next up here, we got Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon in a steel cage. Just on three? I don't care, but yeah. One, two, three, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman. Yeah. Um, the only way I see Shane winning is if they pull off the Kevin Owens spot from a few years ago where Brock literally Brock launches. Brock. Yeah, that, that's the only way I can see this going that way. Um, there And the segments for this have been so bad. 
so full of cringe. You know what I hate? We haven't talked about this at all. The Braun Strowman when he does the running thing, and now he's doing this like, and they actually play like the the train noises while he's doing it. Mm. Stop that. <laughs> Get help. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. I really do. Oh my god! <laughs> um, uh, I think I'm gone. You you know that you know what that tells me. Yeah. Someone gets paid to literally press the play button on train sounds whenever Braun Strowman does. Yeah, you're not wrong. So literally, there's some guy backstage, or at least on on production, who's like, "Oh, I think he's setting it up." He said, all right, all right. There's $50,000 for the week. Hold on. Um, Press play on train noises. Yeah. No, and, and, and it, it's a joke. Like, this whole feud. This world champion. This dude was a universal champion. And can now we he's just, comedic. Can we just admit, like, there's no need for Shane McMahon on this WrestleMania card. Yeah. Okay. Uh, there, there's no point. Okay. Honestly, there is no Braun Strowman momentum. You All know right. Could have done. Oh, God, I'm Dolly. Gonna do I hate. Dolly I hate Kato? It. No. Yes. D- yes. And maybe, maybe we get Davicato debut of Mania to help Shane McMahon win. Jesus. Christ. You know what? The fuck are we saying? I'd almost prefer that. Isn't it bad that we've reached that point? I'd almost prefer yeah. that. But here, before I, before I go completely off the deep end on that, uh, man, you know I would have much preferred? Mm. Braun Strowman versus Triple H. I'm going to be that Triple H guy here, but, you know, oh, between God. Shane McMahon and Triple H, one of them's a professional wrestler. Mm, it's true. <laughs> on top of it, you could push the whole Braun Strowman Survivor Series. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Love you. As soon as you said, as soon as you said Triple H, I knew, I knew you were gonna pull the Survivor Series card from two years ago. Yeah. God, was that only two years ago? Uh, 2019, right? Wow, maybe it was 2018. Kurt Angle was still the GM. Oh, all right. Well, um, that might be 2018. Well, if it's not gonna be Daba Kato. With a run in, it's gonna it's a, be it's a Braun Strowman win. It well, it's well, it could also be Elias and and Jackson Riker, um, running in. I still think well, because it's a steel cage, you know. But, but yeah, it's gonna keep people out. That's what they do in steel cages, despite the fact that they've shown people can interfere in steel cage matches. A formal request to move on because I'm tired of talking about Shane McMahon with yet another match at WrestleMania. Cesaro versus Seth Rollins is the next Gosh. match. And if, uh, this if, you guys, isn't... if you guys watched our hardcore justice prediction show slash NXT takeover stand and deliver review, Cesaro and Seth Rollins, I am officially challenging you guys to have a five-star match. Yeah, this should be. And you guys are two even of the best workers in the world right now. There's no excuse. The There's only no way. This. Yeah, if I mean, this would be a guaranteed five star match if it was Tyler Black versus Claudio Castagnoli from Ring of Honor. But it's WWE in 2021. Right. I mean, here's my thing. Don't Cesaro's already up. said he wants to swing Seth Rollins 37 times. And look, I'm down. I'm for it. That's a huge spot. You get the crowd chanting in that. I'm for it. That's cool. Just deliver. Stand and deliver? Well, Seth Rollins gets stand and deliver because he's the only heel I see really winning this night. This night. They are really building this whole thing as it's Cesaro's first singles match at WrestleMania. Uh, see, I, it, it's the Dolph Ziggler treatment. I know. It doesn't matter how many times you, you put new makeup on it. It's still the same. 
It's still the same show. Let me let me let me put it to our fans like this. If you put lipstick on a pig, it's still a pig. And and unfortunately that is the until I see them do right by Cesaro. Yeah. I'm never going to believe it. Uh, well, I'm picking Cesaro because I'm at 12:30 in the morning. I'm hopefully optimistic that they'll pull the trigger and one one of these guys can afford to eat the pin in in my eyes the other one would do well or do better i guess would be better off for getting the win and getting the win well i I think really whoever wins this match will tell you who wins the main event on night two, in my opinion. Mm. I think winner of this match will go on to face the challenge, or whoever the champion is after night two. Mm. So take that for what you will. Next up here, we have tag team turmoil. Winner receives a WWE women's tag team title match uh, on night two. You guys already know how we feel about uh, the current state of tag team, uh, the women's tag team division currently in WWE. But let me tell you who's in this match. Lana and Naomi, Dana Brooke and Mandy Rose, The Riot Squad, uh, Natalia and Tamina, and Billy Kay and Carmella. Uh, I'm going to go into it right now. Lana and Naomi. I want to be wrong, but this makes the most sense storyline-wise. Um, if you watch SmackDown tonight, you would know that the obvious answer is Natalia and Tamina. See... I, I really – maybe this is me just having faith and hope that they actually do this. You have a storyline all the way from Survivor Series that you still need to pay off mm-hmm. with Lana here. Mm-hmm. I, think that's, I think that's happening at Mania finally. So that's just my thought on that. Uh, main event time for night one. Sasha Banks is defending the SmackDown Women's Championship versus Bianca Belair. You want to go on at the same time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one. Two, one. Bianca, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair. There's, uh, no, there's yeah. no sense in building Bianca Belair up for months just to have her eat the pin. As much as I have been against Bianca Belair winning the Rumble, the push she's gotten, uh, the horrible kind of pointless uh, women's tag team matches that her and Sasha have received. They've not um, done her right since winning the Rumble, in my opinion. No, they haven't. But that's what you get, though, with the constant booking on the main roster. And, you know, my whole thing is that, you know, they were doing – they were doing vignettes with her really, really well. She's, you know, she's the EST, you know, they have her, you know, doing these Mr. Perfect S gimmick, you know, uh, you know, um, gimmick vignettes almost. Um, go back to those, you know, you know, I have not watched her WWE 24 yet. Um, but there's got to be a better way on television mm-hmm. to be able to flush a person's character out more. I feel like all the tools are there. And, and yeah. guys, you guys already know, we say this all the time, all the tools are there. Triple H just had an interview where he said he thinks Bianca Belair could be one of the biggest stars in the women's division that they've ever had. I think I don't think that's a bold claim. I think that's that's feasible. I think she's physically gifted enough. I think she's incredibly likable enough. And I think her as a person is someone that we've seen from her her interviews that we've seen from her twenty four. She's a perfect role model to put out there. She's someone who you want at the front of your company, which is I think a why you, why you have Triple H say that. And B, not just you're not just promoting the match here. I feel like this is a Bianca Belair win here. Um, 
Here is an additional thing to point out, though. And this, I think, needs to be said. Becky Lynch put out a tweet, I want to tell you, two, three hours ago, hinting that she's going to be on night one of WrestleMania. Oh, uh, I don't maybe, maybe time is slowing down, but um, it was like this afternoon. But but still, um, she kind of put, uh, well, it, it was a picture of her um, doing you know, pull-ups. Essentially doing pull ups and, um, you know, hasn't, has, hasn't, you're anagram. right, it was at six o'clock today. <laughs> anagram, this was six um, and a half hours ago, spells out night, night one. Yeah, nothing um, is guaranteed here tonight, only now eternally. And, and it's spells night out one down. night one. So, does that mean anything? Is she going to be in Seth Rollins' corner? Um, is she going to show up at the end of the night to challenge and be the next one in line? Um, she would be an outstanding addition to the main roster women's division right now. They are suffering. And I think Becky Lynch would be kind of the spark that either brand needs, really. Oh, sorry. I, I just see now GCW has John Moxley versus Nick Gage. So coming over early tomorrow, I think. Yeah, I'll yeah. bring a TV. Screw it. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's yeah. I I don't know what's gonna happen, but the right person that needs to win is Bianca Belair, and she should win. Yeah. Um, I think you also it's time you gotta get some get some new challengers up there on SmackDown as well. Um. I also think we're going to get a Bailey Becky Lynch thing to start off her return. Uh, Bailey has nothing to do on on WrestleMania, which, if you're asking me, is is a shame. Um, Bailey has been ding dong hello has been obnoxious as a heel, but you know what, man, that woman has done everything that this company has asked her to, and once again. Yeah held down the SmackDown women's division for the majority of the COVID era here. Um, give, give her something in front of the crowd, please. Please have something for her. Um, it, it's This WrestleMania is so very different than all the other ones and just the fact that you want to see a lot of feel good because, mm-hmm. God, we need it because look at the world. Um mm-hmm. And you really, I really feel like you should be rewarding the talent who have put in the time and put in the pressure to hold it down. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot to put on them. So hopefully, we see a lot of people get rewarded for a lot of the work that they've put in. Uh, mm-hmm. But guys, that is it for night one. So, Cod, hit them with the plug. <laughs> Again, if you watched our Hardcore Justice Stand and Deliver Review uh, prediction show combination, this is your palate cleanser between nights of WrestleMania. Uh, we know it's going to be a long couple of days. Um, so, if you're watching this on YouTube. Thank you. Make sure you hit that. Uh, sub- make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, click the notification bell. That way, you know when episodes of Alvarez mm-hmm. versus Meltzer come out. Um, when we get new creative control come out, prediction shows, um, maybe the off occasion where we decide to film the WrestleCast on our own. Um, you know, but all of that, you know, we, we love to be loved. We are, we are living in a world where we need to love each other and we need to support one, one another. And, the, and how can you help with that? Well, you can go to PWO slash one two oh gosh Kofi.com slash <laughs> PWO one two three. Let me give it's it to you easy. again just because it's late at night. Yeah, God gosh. knows we need it. Yeah. Kofi.com slash PWO one two three. It's as easy as it's one two three. And uh Con, I know this is your area, but from my understanding, it's very similar to the price of a cup of coffee. Yeah, and then you can support the Two man power trip. 
Uh, Brother. Oh, we forgot. The hosts of WrestleMania are Hulk Hogan and Titus O'Neil. We didn't forget. We didn't forget. (laughs) We just kept moving forward. (laughs) Oh, God. Hulk Hogan's going to be the first person out. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm going to be upset about that. I think I'm actually going to be upset not. about that. No, you're not. I think no, I am. Not. I think I am. Awesome. McIntyre for- deserves it. Who How the do hell forget is- this? Who's going to sing the How national do- anthem? Oh. Will they be the national anthem? No. I th- no. I think it's BB Rexa. I have no idea. Let me see if they have it up here. I have the wiki. The wiki pull yeah. up. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, no. I, I, I closed the Wikipedia page. That didn't work out at all how I wanted that to. Well, this is just... <gasps> We're all over the place, man. Well, everybody oh. needs to understand. Wow. Okay. Sorry. There's a bunch of stuff here. The Yeah, so... BB Rexel will perform America the Beautiful prior to the show, and country singer Ashlyn Croft will do the same on night two. Mm. Oh, there's no national anthem. Just America the Beautiful. Interesting. Interesting. I kind of, I get why they're doing it. Um, But also, so... Yeah, because more time for the Hulkster. On top of it... Uh, we're gonna have two musical artists perform entrances. Uh, oh so, yeah! So Rhea Ripley, this is a verse verse up for night uh, night two as well. Oscar's gonna defend the title against Rhea Ripley. I am sad because I think Rhea Ripley's gonna win, but. You long term listeners, you guys know Oscar's my girl. So I think I think a lot of people are probably gonna be happy if Rhea Ripley win. Just not me. I, Rhea Ripley, someone else. All the tools are there. Just give me a reason to like her. Give, give me a, a character. Give me something. Same thing we said about Bianca Belair, in my opinion. Yeah. Um uh, Rhea Ripley is gonna have uh, a live performance of her of her theme when she comes out. Also, um, you get a live performance at WrestleMania, you lose. I'm picking Oscar to win, and her first feud Jeez. is either going to be Becky Lynch, depending on where they swing it, or. Well, and because there's because there's storyline there, though. Yeah, 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 no, I'm with you. I'm with you. Or Io Shirai. Yeah, I want that. That's what I want. I want Oscar versus Io. That's now. What do we, now here's what I want. Pro- now here's the problem. Do we want to do that immediately, yes. or do we want to get? I, you're gonna say that. <laughs> um, I'm all for it. Also, um, I just. You can build this storyline where Rhea can't win the big one. And it's one that's been done multiple times. And she can get her win at SummerSlam if they really want to give it to her. Here's my thing. Really push it. Really, really push it. So she has to win the Rumble. Let her win the Rumble. Yeah. Next year. Yeah. There's no reason why they can't be storyline. I love the concept. And I really love when it's done well. The storyline of the can't get it done when the light shines brightest mm-hmm. until it clicks. And you know what would be great? Maybe Rhea Ripley turns heel again. Maybe maybe she's got to go down that dark road to figure out what it takes to win the world title. I'd love that. I'd love that because she's a nightmare for a reason. Mm-hmm. Let's remember why she's a nightmare. Do that. I, I want Asuka to win. Uh, just thinking with a WWE brain at the moment. I think Rhea Ripley wins here. Mm-hmm. Especially You're if right. this opens up the card, I think it's going to be. Although, once again, Asuka has put the women's division on her back this entire time in COVID. 
Uh, up next, and this has got to be later in the night because this this is not going to be how it is. It's the Fiend versus Randy Orton, and it it just want to go on three. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Fiend. The Fiend. Yeah. Stay Puft Mars Marshmallow Man. Yeah, there's 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 no reason for Randy Orton to win this. There really isn't. And <sighs> there's been no talk of cinematic matches with there being a live crowd. Mm-hmm. But let let me let me let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. If there was ever to be a live performance, it would it would be this. It would just be Death Rebel. And I I know it's not on the deck. It's not gonna happen, but it's just one of those themes that's meant to be performed live at least once. Ah, but I feel like the gimmick doesn't work with it. That's my only issue. Well, it would be no. an awesome live performance, but God, oh you you would have yeah. to have them you'd have to have them dressed up as the Firefly Funhouse characters. Yeah, but also think that would think be about, fantastic. Think think about WrestleMania 31 and how Sting's entrance was and just random dudes drumming, just big huge drums. And it's like, well, that's not really Sting, but it was really cool. My thing was that Sting's Sting didn't have good WWE music. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't good. Look, I really like the AEW Sting music. I, I know Mikey Ruck has put a lot of work into it. I'm a, I'm a really big fan of the TNA Sting theme. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I, I don't want to do. I don't want to do any more because we're gonna get copyrighted. We're... That or we're gonna get booed off of the stage. Maybe we just turn yeah. a few people away. Yeah, but the fiend wins this, obviously. and he should. He should off the return. Once again, yeah. striking off another name that has done him wrong. Yep, that's what I love about the fiend. Slowly getting back everybody. At some point, he's got to come back for Goldberg. Oh man, I was expecting a bunch of worse reactions. Uh, Biggie versus Apollo Cruz in the Nigerian drum fight for the Intercontinental Title. Uh, Big E is going to have his theme performed live by Wale. <laughs> Which means Apollo Crews is winning the Nigerian drum fight. Um, so for those who don't know, um, this is per the Wrestling Observer newsletter um, about the general idea or the rules for the Nigerian drum match. The rules were explained as being an anything goes match. The idea is you're supposed to beat the other guy with punches and kicks so loud it sounds like a drum. So like Walter Chops. For if like if you want an actual like audible thing to attach to that, every hit needs to kind of be like Walter esque. Yeah. Look, the stipulation name is ridiculous. Both no, it sounds are great. So, both of these guys are so good in ring, though. This mm-hmm. could be such a great match if you let these guys do what they do best. Yeah, Apollo Cruz is winning this. He's, and he should. Yeah. Um, I feel like he should have won at Fastlane, um, but it does take away from his WrestleMania win that he's getting here. So. All right. Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn, who's going to have Logan Paul in his corner. Uh, you want to go on three? Because I feel like we're in the same boat here. I'm torn. Never mind. Um, and, and, and here's my reasoning. Well, all right, here, let's go on three, and then I'll explain my reasoning. Because I think we... All right. One, two, two three, 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 Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn. Okay. Oh. Um the conspiracy is going to be true. Um, Lo- Logan Paul is going to knock Kevin Owens out. <sighs> Do I want that to happen? No, I don't. Yep, there you go. And listen, 
Yep. Sorry, uh, guys. Why End would you even minutes. say that? Why would you do that? Because it's Vince McMahon, and he has a and he has a big celebrity on a main stage. He's going to be involved. Okay. The, the what you said for night one, where it's going to be a baby face kind of, kind of night. This this has got that feel to it, but the there are some exceptions. This is the exception, I think. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna box. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna have you throw a punch. All right. Uh, uh, you're gonna knock Kevin Owens out. You know, Sami Zayn conspiracy is gonna be true. Oh, this is such good stuff. I'm so upset right now. Yeah, well. It's compounded by the fact that it's one in the morning still. So what I was going to say is it depends on how far Kevin Owen jumps from the, the pirate ship. <laughs> okay. But Not so much. <laughs> I feel like a terrible person now. Uh, but you have to. But you already know this is how Vince McMahon's mind works, okay? The fact that, you know, Kevin Owens um, got, you know, got the upper hand on the go home. I know it's not. I know it's WWE school. math. It makes sense. That's 100%, and you know it's right. Well, it's not 100%. There's always an exception to the rule, and I'm really hoping. Look, I don't have an issue with Sami Zayn winning. So help me God, if Logan Paul knocks out Kevin Owens, I might leave. I might leave. That might be the end of Mania for me. I, we're watching it at my house. We're watching that night at my house. You're going to kick everyone out. <laughs> Just everybody get out. Ugh. I'm in pain. I'm going to have to talk to my therapist about this. Hold on. When is his fight with Ben Askren? Oh, God. Are you thinking Ben Askren comes out? No, I'm just curious. Oh, you know what? No, that's the other Paul. This is the guy who was supposed to fight Mayweather, and then oh. it was postponed. Okay, so different ball. Never yeah, mind, man. Brother. I mean, still gonna. He needs I his still brother. I still hold. I'm so upset. Up next. For the United States Championship, Riddle defends against Sheamus. I'm Matt sorry. Riddle. <laughs> Matt Riddle. <laughs> um, I want Sheamus to win, but... Yeah, Riddle. Because hasn't he gotten the upper hand like the past two, three shows? WWE math screams that. Yep. God. Which one has been calling out Conor McGregor? I'm going, oh, wait. <laughs> No, no, that's Jake Paul also. Mm. <sighs> I am distraught right now. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna... Nia Jackson, Shayna oh, Baszler defending the women's tag titles against who I have as Lana and Naomi. Mm -hmm. Essentially, I'm going to tell you that the challengers win. Yeah, whoever the challengers are, they win. Because we need to break this team up. Jana yeah. Baszler needs to challenge for the women's title, and Nia Jax needs to well, 
Can Logan Paul knock her out? No. You know how WWE works. Only Randy Orton can RKO women. Um, I will I will say this. Um, you're correct. Shayna Baszler does need to be a singles competitor, not a tag team competitor. Um, I don't really think there's a team. Uh, I think the best choice is one of our two options given the field. And I think that both of our selections are capable of winning. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah. By hook or by crook. Main event time. Roman Reigns defends the universal title against Edge and Daniel Bryan. You want to go on three? I'm scared to after the last time. Yeah, well, it's okay. All right. One, yeah. two, two, three. three. Edge. Daniel Bryan. Why? Why this do you his, do this to me? <laughs> this is Daniel Bryan's final run before he retires and goes into the Hall of Fame. And he goes out on his back. <laughs> and that's totally fine, but he's getting another championship run. So, but look. here's the thing. Here's the thing. <sighs> this time Roman taps. And then but you I just get don't edge. buy that Roman Reigns is going to eat the pin or tap out at Mania here. Uh, I, I think Edge is pinning Daniel Bryan. I don't think you have Edge win the Royal Rumble if he's not going to win the title. Um, it's fair. Because I think the, the blowback of putting him in the match. Now, that being said, all the idiots who were like, why did Edge win the Royal Rumble? Because he should have won the Royal Rumble. He should have won the year before, too. Mm-hmm. Um, True. You're wrong. If you think that's a bad decision, you're wrong. I'm sorry, but you're wrong. God, I'm, I'm still, I'm still <laughs> upset. <laughs> Look, I think Roman Reigns or Edge are, are the ones here. Um, I think, logically, in my heart, I see Edge picking up the title here um, and Roman Reigns getting it back by SummerSlam. Um, but I think there is room for an Edge versus Seth Rollins title match, especially considering – the history there. Seth Rollins brought back the authority by threatening to uh, re-break Edge's neck forever ago, and we never really got anything moving forward from that. Um, you really want to push this whole savior of SmackDown and Edge bit. That's a great way to go from there. Uh, Roman Reigns is going to need new challengers if he does retain the belt. Cesaro is an easy person to, to put there. Shinsuke should be in there as well, but I'm not too sure on that lately. Um, yeah. So there's WrestleMania. Thank you for attending my public mental breakdown. Yeah, and it was caused by me, unfortunately. If you guys would be so fortunate as to help my therapist deal with the damage of this, uh, you can support us at ko-fi.com slash pwo123. It's as easy as 123, and for the small price of a cup of coffee, you can make sure I don't lose my damn mind on Sunday. <laughs> um, I, I, I don't. Thank you guys for watching the two-man power trip. Um, I hope you have a good weekend and uh, we'll see you again on Monday Logan Paul's knocking out Kevin Owens (laughs) (sighs) he's got to help me with my therapy bye everybody